Hey YouTube, this is Sheeta Boo, and okay, that's not me that you see, but this is the new marathoner, and we're gonna call her Jean today. She finished her marathon yesterday in seven hours and fifty minutes. Yay! <laughs> so this is the post, very post. This is the next day, the post um, marathon interview. So, just a little bit of background of what made you decide um, to do a marathon. Well, I had never run at all prior to, I guess it would have been November of last year, 2010. Um, and I kind of thought I would get into it just because I was trying to lose weight. And I thought I would get into it. and. Uh, you know, see if I could do it. I didn't think I could. I weighed probably at that time probably about two seventy six. I think was the last. It was my Thanksgiving weight <laughs> right before Thanksgiving, and um, I just said, "Well, let me just see." And and I tried it. Um, I would go out and try. You know, when it was nice. And I was really never able to run more than like thirty seconds at a time. So I, you know, I was like, hmm. I just played around with that for a while, and then uh, my best friend. She actually challenged me. She said, okay, um, <clears throat> I want you to be able to run one mile nonstop um, without, you know, stopping before her, her birthday, which was, you know, in June. So I said, okay, I'll take the challenge. So I did it. I worked on it. And I took it one step further. I said, okay, well, I'm going to do a 5K then, which is 3.1 miles. So I worked up to that, and um, I did it. In May, I did the 5K and it took me, I think, 47 minutes to do a 5K. Um, and so from there, I just added on to it. I said, okay, you know, I really thought I was going to be done, but she challenged me again. She said, okay, well, now you can do a 10K, which is double a 5K. So I said, okay, which was in July. I did that. And so, you know, and that was the end of the challenges. By that point, I kind of took it over from there and figured, you know, I might as well do a half marathon then. <laughs> Why not? So I did a half marathon in September. And at that point in your training, you have to you know, do a certain amount of miles each week. I was right at the training level where if I kept going, I would have been ready for a marathon in November, which brings us to today. So I said, why not? There was this um, marathon in Indianapolis, Indiana. Um, which lined right up with my training schedule, and I said, okay, I'm going to try it. I'm, I'm going to see what happens. <laughs> so here I am. I did it. <laughs> okay, so um, how did you feel before the marathon, the night or the morning before? Um, very nervous, extremely nervous, actually. Uh, in my training, the longest I ran was 20 miles. So it wasn't so much... You know that I wasn't ready. That was part of it. Um, how can I even explain it? It was just th this marathon has been more than just running. It's been more than just a fitness journey. It's been a spiritual journey, an emotional journey, um, just a soul journey. Um, so I was really nervous from that standpoint because I knew that once I completed this obstacle, if you will that it would just open up a whole new world for me. And I, I could never say that whatever I would want to do in life is impossible. Because for me, running a marathon was impossible. Because like I said before, I could never even run 30 seconds at a time. I built up, I think the longest, when I really thought I was doing good, I was like, oh, I ran three minutes without stopping. <laughs> so I mean, it just, it was never even something that I thought I would be able to do. But I did it. And so now, anything that comes at me in life, I can't say, oh, I can't handle that or that's impossible because I just did the impossible. So for me, it just opened up a whole new world. So I was nervous from that standpoint, um, thinking about my toes, how my feet feel, you know, how am I going to feel after, all those kind of things too. But um, that's mainly what I was thinking about the night before. Okay. Um... The start line, and I've never been to a marathon, but I noticed they had the different sections as to what your average mile, um, minutes per mile were. Mm -hmm. And as they started going, 
let each section go? How are you? How was you feeling at that point? Um, I was just ready to. I was just ready to go. Um, because you know, it's so many people, so it's like you. Everybody moves, and then you have to stop. Then everybody moves again, and you have to stop. So it kind of, you know, it kind of throws off your momentum, and you're just kind of wanting to get started. You know, so. It, I really, I really, really wasn't feeling much of anything. I saw people taking pictures, so I pulled out my phone and took a picture. Just kind of almost bored, if you will. I'm like, okay, let's just get started. I'm ready to go. <laughs> it was cold. <laughs> so. Okay, so how did the first half, did it compare to the, to the half marathon that you ran before? No, <laughs> not at all. Uh, the first, my half marathon really went well, actually. Um, I was had a good pace and you know things didn't fall apart towards the end of the half marathon I did but this time um, you know stuff was falling apart kind of early so I started off um, really slow which you're supposed to do just kind of in a warm-up mode and um, you know I just just time went on people were going by me I was passing other people but um, I started to have some um, you know breathing issues because uh, I had this cold that was, you know, in my throat, and so it started to kind of come down to my chest, so I was concerned about that going in, but it started to affect my breathing, so I couldn't really catch my breath like I wanted to, and it was messing up my pace, um, and so that threw me off, That I had an inhaler, so I had to use that around mile four, and so that made me need to um, try to speed up and try to catch up according to the pace, and, you know, it just really threw the first half off completely. And then about mile eight, the, the closer pacer caught up to me. I'm like, oh my goodness, how am I caught, you know, how am I at the end at mile eight? So I was thinking she wouldn't catch up to me until about mile 13 or so, but there she was in mile eight. And so I had to really run faster than I normally do. And it just, it, it didn't go well. <laughs> I mean, I was doing really good, a really good pace compared to what I normally do, mm -hmm. um, which was good, but it made me tired. So I really wasn't feeling like I would be successful at that point. <laughs> wasn't sure about it at all. Okay, so uh, well, let's go after mile thirteen. Mm -hmm. What happened after mile thirteen? Well, I was really, you know, because um, they have this tracking, you can. You can sign up to have text messages sent to family and friends who want to track your, your progress. So I knew that I had a lot of people waiting to get that 13 mile text message because that's the first one. So I was really like, I have to make that before the course closer comes by me so I at least can have that recorded and people can see that I'm doing okay. But I had pushed myself so hard up to that point where I didn't have a lot left to, to go from. And so I probably could have kept running, but this particular day, I had some cramps <laughs> and it like never happens to me it, it's like very rare for me to get that so you know for it to happen on the day that I have this marathon schedule was kind of disappointing um, and so I tried to run through them they were really bad but it, I just couldn't so but I determined I said I'm gonna finish no matter what no matter how bad I'm hurting no matter how I feel I'm gonna just walk so I just walked the rest of the way okay from mile, about mile four. 14 on to the rest of the 26.2 miles I walked. But your first half mile um, time was 3 hours and 13 minutes? Or was it 3, 3 hours and 15 minutes. 15 minutes. minutes. Which yeah, was a new, new record for me because I finished the other one, the first half marathon, and I want to say 3 hours 37 minutes. Okay. So I considerably increased or reduced my time there, uh, which was a good thing. 